we need to close the door to sin, right? Ephesians 4, 27 says, do not give the devil a foothold. So when we close the door to sin, right? He does not have that foothold, right? So look, as long as we are trying to walk in alignment, walk in the will, walk in obedience, share in the righteousness and the holiness of Christ, we're dead to sin. We can no longer partake any longer therein. And now, clarification, we will be tempted. Jesus says you will you will encounter tribulation, you will be tempted, and God is faithful to provide a way out every time. But in Matthew 5, 27, Jesus gave the key to preventing temptation, to cutting certain things off that cause us to sin, right? So Jesus, he not only defeated sin, defeated death, so that we also can, but he gave a way to prevent that temptation, to minimize it, right? Matthew 5, 27, teachings on temptation. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, you shall not commit adultery, but I say unto you that whosoever looks on a woman to lust after her, has committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if your right eye offends you, causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. So as I was reading this, something that stuck out to me was that he repeatedly said, if this causes you to sin, cut it off. If this causes you to sin, cut it off. What causes you to sin? We need to examine ourselves prayerfully. Ask the Lord, Holy Spirit, what's my triggers? What gets me? You know what your weaknesses are. I know what my sin struggles are or where one of like my strongholds used to be lust. And it wasn't until I truly deleted social media, right? That the temptation, it would minimize exponentially, bro. I don't even use that word. Exponentially, right? I'm not talking about deactivate because I deactivated. I'm not talking about make a new account, bro. You will still be tempted. You got to delete it. Jesus said, cut it off. He didn't say, put it in time out and then bring it back. No, he said, cut it off and cast it away from you. It's better that you cast that away from you. So the point is, cut off all triggers that open the door to sin, that give the devil a foothold. What, what is that? It could be social media for you. It could be certain places that provoke an emotion. It could be going to the club. I'm leery about even going to hangouts, you know, if, if it's like a secular setting because I know how I used to be. I know that music can affect me. I know that seeing things can affect me. Especially, young men, you got to guard your eyes too. You have to guard your eyes, right? The book of Ecclesiastes says, the eyes, the eye is not satisfied with seeing. The eye was made to see. Our flesh is already fallen. We already have lusts of the flesh. That's why we must be born again. So we need to guard those things, bro. Guard your ears. Guard your eyes. Cut those things off. Ask yourself, is this thing that I'm doing, is this thing that I'm on, is it beneficial to my walk with Christ? If it's not, surrender <laughs> to the Lord because... If it's not beneficial to your walk with Christ, it's not beneficial at all. It's actually holding you back. And here's just some extra verses that if temptation does happen to occur, he will provide a way out every time because he is faithful. The Bible says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust in the flesh, right? When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, what did he do? He walked in the spirit. He fought back in the spirit. He was the word and he fought with the sword of what? The sword of the spirit. You need to walk in the spirit so you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. James 4, 7 says, submit yourselves to God. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. What did, what did Jesus do? He resisted the devil and he fleed from him. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. We all will be tempted. Jesus got tempted. But God is faithful and he will provide a way of escape every single time you are tempted. But with the temptation, he'll make it a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So ask yourself, what's my right hand? What's my right eye? And pluck it out. In Jesus' name. Amen.